the masks you're wearing to protect yourself from COVID-19 might have been produced by Uyghurs in forced labor camps in China. A New York Times investigation has found that some Chinese companies are using Uyghurs to make personal protective equipment. The Chinese government says the production is part of a poverty reduction program. But experts say the program often puts people to work against their will. The United States has blacklisted 37 Chinese companies for their role in human rights violations in Xinjiang, the northwest region where most Uyghurs live. Today, the United States Department of State, along with Treasury, Commerce, and DHS, are issuing a business advisory to companies with supply chain links to entities complicit in forced labor and other human rights abuses in Xinjiang and throughout China. It follows another damning report released last month highlighting China's alleged birth control campaign in the region. We lost a part of our body. We lost our identity as women. We will never be able to have children again. They've cut out one of our organs. It's gone. The practice has turned the region from being one of China's fastest growing to among its slowest in just a few years. Some experts are calling it a demographic genocide. Uyghurs have been persecuted by the Chinese government for years, but Beijing says it's fighting religious extremism. Since 2016, the campaign has morphed into a mass detention program. According to Amnesty International, more than a million Uyghurs have been detained and sent to what China calls re-education camps. They are also kept under surveillance using the latest in facial recognition software. The Chinese government says the measures have succeeded in reducing violence in Xinjiang. But Uyghurs who have escaped the region say their existence is under threat. They want to eliminate us but they can kill all of us. The latest news from Xinjiang indicates that something that's supposed to offer protection might actually be linked to efforts to subjugate a people.